What's up guys, this is Sonny back with another video. As you guys know, recently I picked up this graphics card from Facebook for $60 EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. This card performed really well, but for some reason I didn't like the temperature because uh, temperature basically uh, is good but uh, should be lower. So basically the thermal paste in this graphic card was never uh, replaced. So that's the reason today basically we'll replace the thermal paste and apply some uh, new thermal paste. Now I don't have uh, Arctic Silver here or Icy Diamond, so I'm just gonna use. Uh, I have this uh, thermal paste for from Kyrie. Uh, it came with the Kyrie uh, uh, AAD cooler, so I'm just gonna use this for now. And also I have a screwdriver here, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see right here, uh, Phil. And also I have toilet paper, cause the reason I will be using toilet paper. Because uh, a toilet paper leaves like less lint than uh, like uh, regular uh, paper towel, and also I do recommend you guys to go with like coffee filter. I don't have coffee filter. That's the reason I'm using toilet paper. So toilet paper is basically my second choice if I don't have coffee filter uh, uh, next to me. Also, we are using icy purple uh, alcohol 99%. Okay, you can go with like 90%, uh, it, sh it should be okay, but 99% is like perfect, so I do recommend at least 99%. You can pick up uh, this uh, alcohol from uh, Rite Aid or like 99 cent store if you have nearby, or you can order it online. I picked up uh, this one from a 99 cent store, I paid like uh, $2 for it, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's about it. And so, let's just go on with the video and... Uh, Let's just open it up and see how nasty this thing looks. So, as you guys can see, uh, it's not that bad, like it's not that dirty. Uh, you guys can see some dust right in here. So, first we'll start um, with uh, removing four screws right here. Alright. Be gentle, you know, don't try to break it. Alright. First, I'll just use all these four screws and then we'll just take it off. Alright, oops. First one, two, three, and four. I should remove. All right, here we go. Have one more right here. So guys, don't rush. Take your time, because you don't want to, you know, damage the carb. So take your time, you know. Don't be like me, okay? I'm just like, whatever. All right, now, if, oh, what the hell? Oops, okay. Let's remove the fan, so as you guys can see. Uh, basically, the cooler came off, but, uh, be gentle with the fan because you don't want to rip the wire off. Alright, so that was easy. So look how nasty this thing looks. Ah, this is so nasty. Alright, here we go. Dirty, dirty, dirty. So let's just clean. Uh, so for cleaning, uh, basically for uh, cleaning the v, uh, VRM and stuff, uh, basically I'll use uh, regular paper towel okay and I'm not gonna use any alcohol there so let's just clean all this all right I wish I had a brush next to me because that will help me a lot but or unfortunately I don't have one Alright, let me see if I can get a brush. Alright, so I found one, basically for makeup. So, I don't know, my wife had like extra one laying around. Alright, so with that, I can clean all this. Oh, nice, love it. Wow. 
works really good. So as you can see, they're nice and clean. So just make sure. So basically, uh, no one, like, never had changed the thermal paste in this uh, cart, as you guys can see. So basically, this thermal paste is basically from, like, the day one the cart was released. So, you don't really have to, you know, but uh, I personally think it's good to change the thermal paste, um, you know, because uh, what happened over time, thermal paste kind of dries up, and, uh, yeah, and your temperature doesn't look so good. So, alright, um, so now we'll remove alcohol. Put some alcohol here and clean. Okay, gentle, being massive. Alright. Alright, as you guys can see. Okay. Now, let me put a little bit more because I just want to make sure it's clean properly. And I don't make fun of me, alright? Because I'm not a pro. Cleaning. Like, should be perfectly fine now, okay? Now let's clean the heat sink. So let's just leave the. Alright, let's just leave the heat sink. As you guys can see, this is really dirty, so I'll be using the same brush again to take this. Wow, it's really dirty. This card is literally really, really dirty. Alright, should be fine. So let's just uh, off the thermal paste. So as you guys can see, okay, clean enough. And now we'll apply some thermal paste. All right. To connect the fan. And then just install. Right? So don't forget to install that little ring. And now we just install it.
Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we're done installing uh, the heatsink and we're done uh, replacing the old thermal paste with some new thermal paste. So if you guys like this type of video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up.